what it really requires is me getting my head out of the sand. And I realized that my head was in the sand because I was afraid. But I was afraid because I was confused, <laughs> okay? Damn, she just putting herself out there. Hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you have to be real honest with yourself. Hey, hey creators, welcome back to the studio. I'm Aramis, the artist. Welcome back y'all. Okay, your girl is getting ready. I just sent out an email to the newsletter people talking about um, the Sacred Circle celebration. Let me show you this painting. It's the eyes though. It's really the eyes. I call this painting Tiger's Eye. It is one of my favorites that has been on the low, y'all. It's been on the low. I've held this one for a while. I painted this years and years ago. I'm actually making these paintings available during the Sacred Circle celebration, which is taking place September 7th. First of all, that's a lot of X's and C's. Anywho, but I am doing like a pre-launch and like a pre-sale where the patrons can get access to these paintings as well. So if you are part of the Patreon community, then make sure y'all head on over there. Just a note for that y'all we are here in the studio and I'm creating let's do it can we talk about how all my hair has grown back okay y'all let me know if you were here but before the trim. Put a hashtag before the trim, okay? Look, during quarantine, I had cut like six inches off my hair. Y'all, it's all back. I'm loving it. So I'm getting this piece together and what the game plan is to use this for the rope design. If you are new here, first of all, welcome, boo, okay? Thank you for being here. Uh, in some vlogs previously, I talked about doing like loungewear robes. I've been working on this painting to use as a design in the robe and we finally got them uploaded. Still a little bit of work in progress, but I got a sunflower shoot coming up, y'all. I'm super excited about that. Look, your girl gotta, she gotta get back to her baseline. Okay, look, COVID, um, but look, we not, we not even about to do that, okay? So we got the photo shoot coming up with Jeanette. You know I'm gonna take you along. You, you know I'm gonna take you along for the vibes, um, but subscribe to the newsletter, y'all, if y'all want the discount codes for when those robes go live. Okay, so we gonna, I'm gonna roll this up. I'm gonna get this ready to go. The painting itself isn't done, but I kinda like that, y'all. Like, I've just been really playing, letting it, letting it just be free and flowy and not super rigid or meticulous. And that's why I just decided to just like pour the paint, be fun and free. There's actually some areas that's not even done. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just leave that. But it, it's just kinda like a kid at play. Literally, this was just like a fun piece of canvas for me to just like, uh, get back into that play, creative, joyful spirit. So that's the energy that I'm super excited to bring to the robes and the photo shoot and really have something super fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my writing process, I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, I wish it was that kind of thing that I could just lock myself in a room and just do it. But I mean, I tried to do that a couple times. This is the weekend I'm dedicating to writing four scripts or whatever I put on my mind so that I'm not freaking out. This is the part that's super fun for me. So I try to visualize what I could paint on the canvases. So for example, like this one's giving me like rose vibes. Like I could see doing like one giant rose in the center. I feel like that's what that piece is calling for. What's crazy about this one, I have no idea who or what he, she, or they wants to be, okay? <laughs> but I'm picking up some vibes from this painting that I've been working on. And you see how I have the floating islands 
in the back in the sky. This over here is kind of giving me floating islands. So I don't know, we'll see. Okay, the minute I saw this, I saw a nipple. Now, <laughs> I'm bringing you into the mind of an artist, okay? I don't know why my eye immediately drew to that one spot right there. I just see like this whimsy, slow body of all these different anatomical parts of a woman. So definitely a body's gonna go on here, gonna be arms, breasts, all, all the vibes, okay? Not sure here, not sure here. I'm feeling like a cityscape. I haven't done a cityscape in so long and I don't know. Ooh, now that I look at it in the camera, it's giving me fire. I see fire. So maybe, maybe we'll do something with the heat. Right here, this piece is reminding me of the rebirth. And if you, uh, I'll link a vlog to where I was painting that, but I could see like some hands down here at the bottom and the energy is floating out. I don't know. That's what the, that's what the base level we got going on for now. <laughs> In the newsletter that I had recently sent out, I was telling the eFam how I hear y'all feedback. You know, um, especially for people who collectors out there, you know, you know what I'm interested to find out? Who watches my channel? Like, are y'all artists as well? Do you consider yourself an art lover? Of course, artists are art lovers, but it's like, do you consider yourself like more of an admirer of the arts, more of a collector? Like, hey, I just like to see the inside of an artist studio and like what's going on. Or are y'all watching me for inspiration for your own art or your own art business or, or your career you know like I'm, I'm really interested to know about that but I feel like majority of my viewers are artists so I feel like I can kind of share a little bit of the behind the scenes with y'all and what's going on so in this sacred circle silent auction it's really going to be a time where I get to create original paintings for my OG people so I mentioned this in one of my vlogs how I truly see myself being an iconic artist where my paintings are in museums galleries all over the unfortunate thing about stuff like that though is like by the time somebody, anybody, right, musician, anybody, like by the time somebody like gets on, like make it, a lot of the people who had been supporting them in the beginning no longer have access to their art or their concert tickets or like, like I don't know, like not, they're almost priced out of certain things, you know what I mean? And of course for the Zodiac series, like those are in the 30,000 range, the 50,000 range. And so it's like, but the people who've been with me since, I was literally doing pop-up festivals out here in Seattle. It's like, I really want those people to have an original painting of mine, especially if they want to. Now, of course, if they don't care, then cool. Like, your girl is truly out here just like painting for me, but I'm specifically doing an intentional work about making these pieces a little bit smaller so that people can have them. So actually, one of my patrons, April, had mentioned this, and I actually, I, I get this a lot. I really do get this a lot, and I'm like, you know what, you right, and what's crazy. So I brought some of the Zodiac pieces home and me and Andy was trying to hang them around the house. Like we was having trouble y'all, like to tell you the truth. But we, we got tore us up. Y'all might've saw from my Instagram where I posted about the Seattle Times article. So it's like, that's real, you know what I mean? Like that's super real about the pieces being really large. And, and of course, because my thing, I be like, well, I do got prints, you know what I mean? But they're specific art collectors who genuinely want to own originals and I know for me sometimes I forget that and maybe I don't forget it maybe sometimes I just have an insecurity around like oh like people I don't want to buy originals because they not gonna be able to afford them you kind of hear that so much from different people over the span of your career you kind of just stop even offering originals you just like automatically send people to prints but I'm learning y'all don't block your blessings out here okay because you never know what what somebody's income is and like what they doing so so make sure that you are making like both available. So that's what I'm just being intentional about this year. Like if people for real want original, it's like, let's go baby boo. <laughs> let's go. Your girl will make them. Now, of course, that might not be able to fit in the average person's home. But y'all know, I come from a mural background and I really love painting large. It's like, it's just like a cosmic dance for me. Oh my God. 
got y'all i am i'm just so honored i truly am so y'all i collaborated with cornish college of the arts to have my work on display at one of their new buildings that's in downtown seattle y'all we are out here at cornish i'm super excited to take y'all the behind the scenes of this process look at this building that's insane wow Alicia's here she's in the house for me when I think about just the evolution of my art career and everything has taken place and a huge jump off for me the jump off was definitely winning the Netty Award and this was back in 2019 and so it feels like such an incredible full circle moment to have my work up and then to be to be invited back for the opening reception which is taking place on September 7th I'm gonna be there y'all okay this was me I didn't know that the Nettie Award opening reception was September 7th. That was the same day as my Sacred Circle celebration, September 7th. So I pondered it over, talked to the team, we moving it, okay? So the Sacred Circle celebration, the new date is September 15th, which actually works out perfect. It gives me more time. We actually sent out postcards to some of my previous supporters and collectors and customers. So if you if you got one in the mail, use a real OG, okay? But you got the old invitation, which was for September 7th. Get the new date on your calendar. Wow, y'all, there, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to think about. I gotta swap my artwork out. I got some that's up at the Paramount 
Theater, which is out here in Seattle. And y'all, they are playing Hamilton. Yay! Shout out to the Paramount for, for gifting your girl some tickets. Okay, look, we're going to see Hamilton tomorrow and I'm beyond geeked for that. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, like, you, I'm so juiced up right now, it makes no sense, okay? I just got the call with Shannon, we ready, okay? We got the game plan on lock, y'all. We got some dope stuff coming for the holiday season. I can't even talk about it, but even better what came, The motherfuckers on flower ropes. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on. Can you see the vision? Can you see the vision? Okay. Ooh. 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 This is giving self care lux. This is giving she love herself. This is, she's taking care of herself. This is giving joy, okay? <laughs> Hold on, not, not the way the light hit it. Got it shimmering, y'all. Got it shimmering, okay. This is from the sunflower painting that I've been working on for like over a year at this point. Not nonstop, y'all, y'all know. Like, I, <laughs> I started painting it, then I put it to the side, and then I started, yeah, ooh. It or is it is it getting washed out? It might be kind of washed out on the camera. This one is lighter, which I think is kind of nice. This is kind of giving more pastel. I'm not the biggest fan of the white trim for this one, but I was like, you know what? Somebody might want that white trim. You know, like somebody might like that aesthetic. So I'm keeping y'all in mind, okay? So let me know, do you like the white trim or the black trim? Which one is your favorite? We are definitely gonna make both available though. So just keep that one in mind. But I'm kinda curious, which one are you all vibing with the most? Okay, but guess what? Y'all know my girl Jeanette, who is my, look, she's my photographer. My photographer, okay? She is gonna be taking the photos for the sunflower photo shoot. And guess where we're taking them? <laughs> Tell them I'm with the guessing game. Anywho, we taking them at a sunflower field, y'all. I cannot wait. I think this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, y'all might remember from the previous vlogs with the Radiant Earth um, robe. So these are gonna be available as well. We have launching these around the same time. So we're doing a photo shoot with this and the sunflower robe at the sunflower field that is out here in Washington. Y'all know I'm gonna bring y'all along. So we have two designs for this. Um, I have one here with me actually that we that we not gonna keep. I wasn't the biggest, the biggest fan. But y'all look, you tell me what you think. Do you like this one? The other one is more yellow dominant. This one is more kind of pink magenta dominant. Um which is okay. I'm just not the biggest fan of like there's not as much symmetry here as I will like. Of course, as I say that, it's like completely symmetrical. Okay, well it's just not Okay, look, y'all, y'all got me. Re okay, you got me rethinking it. Now you got me, you got me rethinking it. What was my whole deal with this? The other one I just really liked, like it had like the cosmos in the, in the sleeves. Let me stop playing. Okay, these are the two. These are the two. <sighs> I be so indecisive. It makes no sense. Let me text Shannon. She gonna be like, girl, if you change your motherfucking mind one more time, I can't with you. 
shout out to the team okay they be straight up holding me down okay these these are gonna be the two y'all those, those are gonna be the two speaking of look speaking of creativity creativity takes courage y'all i was gifted this shirt by an incredible artist on instagram i just thought that it was literally perfect y'all know i did a ted talk about courage and creativity and when he shared this t-shirt with me i was like uh yes please i'm wearing a medium if you are interested or curious i'm gonna make sure that i drop his link below y'all know i love i love just being in white tees so and i love supporting other artists out there and it's perfect speaking of the ted talk y'all like <sighs> they've been taking a gentle time editing that talk which is fine like i definitely get the editing process but and they got all these other they got all these other speakers and stuff they gotta edit. But actually, we spoke to them recently and they said that the edited version of my talk <laughs> will be coming out in November, okay? So uh, the live stream of the talk is available, but you know, that's just like a live stream. That wasn't the actual, you know how when you watch TED Talks on YouTube, how they be having the cuts, the close-ups and the crowd, like all the different things, they still working on that edit and that should be available in November. Source has been looking out for real, y'all. Like, there's been a series of things that has taken place, okay? At home, personally, in the business, like, so many different layers have been going on that could have been potentially detrimental, okay? But I feel like the universe has been like, baby girl, we about to hold you in the midst of this because if we give you everything that you want right now, you wouldn't even know how to handle it because you aren't even you aren't even organized enough <laughs> to maintain everything that we want to gift you with and i see that and i recognize that and in the process of that information being exposed to me it's been like okay i see it now and i just want to get in alignment and i want to get ready for what the next phase looks like and it's really gonna cut if y'all i feel i feel it right now like it's requiring a straight level up. It's requiring a strategic plan where, and, and, and not even like, not even strategic plan, because I actually talk about that um, in another rant. <laughs> and just organizing my finances. Like literally y'all, your girl is on the glow up, okay? She's on the, we not playing around no more. We not holding ourselves back. We about to get strategic as fuck in the understanding that there's no strategy to your abundance because it's just inevitable <laughs> like you don't need, you don't even gotta overthink it like my thing is like i'll be quick to be like okay here's the launch plan like here's the here's the strategy why wow, this random piece of hair what if we operated from the understanding that our success is inevitable what it really requires is me getting my head out of, out of the sand. And I realized that my head was in the sand because I was afraid. But I was afraid because I was confused, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Damn, she just putting herself out there. Hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you have to be real honest with yourself. And like, if you avoiding like your finances, your inbox, your taxes, look, y'all, before I talk to anybody about this, I'm talking to myself. Like, this is the stuff that I need to hear right now. And it's like, if you trying to get to a certain level where you on this glow up, you got all these opportunities coming in, you got art shows, you got collectors, like, okay, but are you on top of your inbox? <laughs> like, when was the last time you checked your DMs? Um, how, how are your taxes? Is your business license up to date? Like this is, this is the real stuff that like as artists, sometimes we can, we can be slipping on, you know, and I'm, I'm gonna just speak for myself right here. Like I'll be slipping on it and I know I can do better. And just some of the things that's been happening, it's been exposing where my weak points are, but in that exposure, it's been so comforting. It's been like, okay, here, here is where the crack is, but we just about to show you the crack, but we aren't gonna let your whole pot fracture and crumble you know and so i've just been i've been really grateful for that so in that understanding in that grace <laughs> in that grace that i have been given as i'm slowly trying to get to the next level not even get to the next level i mean i think i just showed y'all that rant of what i'm saying it's not even about getting to the next level it's about really understanding what that level requires so if that's the level that you identify with what are the characteristics with that person who's on that level what do they do they're a lot more organized than me. Like, I'm gonna tell you the truth. And what's crazy, what's crazy is that of my artist friends, I'm the I'm the one who kind of seems like I have it together. I'm, I'm like the one that is like, maybe the most, 
I don't know, like maybe, maybe the most advanced on my journey or have just more, has like paying for the studio. Like, I don't know. I have, I have all the things that on the outside is like, oh, like she's a professional, like for real full-time artist. And like, don't get me wrong, y'all. Like, I don't want to belittle myself. They turned up. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I don't want to belittle myself or the growth that I've made because I have done a really great job getting to where I am now. But I also just know, like, you know, like just when deep down, you just know, you like, there's more in me though. Like there, there's more in me though. There's a better version of me and I just need to channel her. She needs to come on out in full force and that's just requiring another level of discipline in conjunction with another, with another level of grace. You know, the other pillar in that, like, is that, is this, is this a triangle we get going on? So we got discipline, grace. The other one though is communication. Y'all, I'm gonna have to communicate with the team, communicate with other um, collaborators that I'm working with. Y'all, I got something super exciting in the works. I actually signed an NDA, so I can't talk about it. But yeah, it's the other pillar has been communication with all these different organizations I've been collaborating with. And it's like, okay, cool, you can do this. What is gonna be the system that you use in order to be successful in this journey? And I think that's where creators, where we can really improve, we can improve with our systems. And I think that's why we have a lot of burnout because we're doing a lot and we haven't systematized something because the minute you systematize it, that's when you can properly delegate it. That's when you can be like, okay, let me, let me, let me give this off to somebody. They already know how to do it because I've laid out the formula and the system for, the, for them to be able to replicate what I've been able to do. So now I can free up my time so that I can just create, you know, like that's, that's literally what I've learned in the process. And, but it comes down to <laughs> y'all, I just had so many thoughts, ideas, plans, to-do lists all in my own mind. The minute I put that stuff on paper and I, and I put that on a template or put that in Notion, Notion is the tool that the team and I use. The minute I put that stuff in, in Notion, that's when we've been able to really take it to the next level and properly delegate and communicate, but I'm still just like, ah, I wanna do better. I wanna do better and I know I'm gonna do better and I know I'm on the trajectory for that. And so, <sighs> y'all, we ready. We ready for that next level of glow up. Let's do it. <laughs>